Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Very sad today's video it is not a beer review. Uh, so the guys that I drank beer tagged me and a few other people in uh, one of those, not challenges, whatever you want to call them, just those tagged things. And uh, they came on Instagram to do five non-beer things about you. Uh, they got tagged, uh, I think, by the person who started it, whose name escapes me. And if I was a better beer tuber, I would have had that information for you. And um, I'm not very good at Instagram. I've been trying to get better and uh, utilize that platform more. But I am very good, debatable, at YouTube. Uh, plus, I am sick, and I'm parlaying being sick into the palate reset I've been kind of thinking I need to do lately. So I'm uh, taking a week to maybe like 10 days, uh, maybe two weeks, whatever, off, off of drinking. So it's giving me some content if I do it on YouTube. So perfect timing. So uh, make sure you check out the I Drank Beer guys on YouTube or I Drank Beer show on Instagram. Um, so anyway, so I try to pick stuff that, um, probably isn't obvious or things I've really, uh, delved into and in beer reviews about myself, you know, get to know, uh, your beer tuber a, a little bit better. Right. So I have stuff written up here. Um, I might throw some pictures in as well throughout. So anyway, let's get going. Number one, like I said, I don't want to talk too much about stuff. You probably know. So you probably, if you watch any of my videos, know I'm a big comic book dork, but the first one does relate to it. Um, so I went somewhat viral um if you can count like 150 retweets and like a couple hundred likes um viral but uh i know on twitter a platform i don't use um when i proposed to my wife so um you know, being a big comic book guy uh and my wife is not so the first uh, marvel movie we saw together that uh she really liked was guardians of the galaxy and um so what i had done and i'll show the story a little bit uh, I have one of my little figurines up there of Groot from uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and all he can say is, I am Groot. So um, when I uh, proposed to my wife, I had put, and I'll put uh, a couple pictures up to show what I mean, um, I had put um, in the Groot box uh, the ring, and as part of my uh, proposal, I had said, you know, I am Groot, and then like a normal person, I said, will you marry me? Um, uh, so I'll put some pictures right now. Hey, those are some pictures. Cool. Yep. Told you I was going to put pictures. I'm editing videos. Um, so anyway, so um, yeah, it was really cool. So I, I took, you know, uh, a picture and I sent it to the director slash writer of Guardians of the Galaxy and he uh, retweeted it. And that's where I got uh, those retweets and those likes. So it was pretty cool, you know, kind of uh, made the day even more special. Um, you know, with friends and family being excited, then you have like some, you know, strangers on the internet, like, oh, cool, congratulations, that's really neat, sweet, blah, blah, blah. And of course, he had some haters, but those people have pathetic lives and are sad and miserable, so screw them. Number two, uh, I love traveling, and unless I miscounted, I've been to, or forgetting some, I've been to 21 countries slash territories, not counting United States of America. What are they? Well, I wrote them down. And again, I may be forgetting. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, China, I spent about two weeks there. Australia, I spent about three weeks there. Uh, Canada, Mexico, England, France, uh, France a couple times. Uh, Spain, twice. Italy, once or twice. Uh, Switzerland, Poland, Czech Republic, Belgium, Slovakia, Germany, Slovenia, Costa Rica, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, uh, Luxembourg, uh, Netherlands, and Denmark. Again, not the United States. Uh, I love traveling so much and i need to do more of it in the united states uh been to some bigger cities uh boston many times dc at least a dozen times um spent a decent amount of time in florida colorado um california so yeah definitely chicago i uh, definitely want to travel more in the states although i would always gladly travel in two other countries number three i wanted oh yeah so um number three well number three i'll do this way I'm a teacher. Um, so uh, I did talk about this somewhat with uh, Rod J when I did um, the, I'm, I'm not going to call it an interview, the beer conversation on his channel just sounds pretentious. Like he interviewed me and we had a conversation for an hour. It was awesome. Um, so talk about a little bit there, but yeah, so uh, I've been a teacher for over a decade. Uh, I currently teach social studies at a middle school level. Uh, I like it quite a bit and actually I love my job. And um, it's one of the reasons I uh, don't use my full name because I don't want, you know, 
to a kid like Googling my name, right? Like they're like, oh wow, this guy does all these uh, beer reviews. Not that I would get fired or anything. Um, it's also why I don't swear in my videos or um, you know, I try to keep everything pretty clean because that way if someone was ever to find this stuff, it, it's squeaky clean. Um, you know, I'm not promoting drinking and driving, you know, I'm at my house drinking. Um, and uh, again, you, if you don't know my full name, um, how would you Google this and find anything? Um, but anyway, so yeah, I've uh, been teaching. I love it. It's one reason I got into doing this. I thought, well, you know, I do explain things for a living. Maybe I could, you know, explain beers to people uh, on YouTube, right? <laughs> um, that will go into number four. So instead of uh, when I was deciding what I wanted to do, um, I thought, well, uh, be a teacher, a police officer, or a comedy writer. Uh, and I realized uh, one of those might not be like the other two. So um, I definitely wanted to help people. That was a big thing when I was, you know, 17, uh, trying to figure out what I wanted to do in my life and, uh, you know, go to college for uh, what. And, uh, you know, I kind of thought, you know, maybe if I'm a good teacher, I could pre prevent some kids from needing to deal with law enforcement. So that was kind of like my, you know, 17-year-old, like, you know, I'm going to change the world uh, mentality. And, um, you know, started taking some classes and teaching and really liked it. But I talk about teaching the comedy writer part. So, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm like obsessed with comedy. I love comedy and, um, uh, thought about, I don't think I'd be a good performer, but, um, I've had thought, you know, maybe I could write, you know, behind the scenes stuff. So I had written, um, a script for the Simpsons called spec script, uh, that I could send to other uh, things. You can't like, I, I wouldn't be able to send that to the Simpsons cause they wouldn't read it because there could be like, um, you know, in, um, what do you call it? Intellectual property theft or whatever. Like if they use an idea that, you know, I could argue came from the script of mine about the show that they read. So you write it about a different show and then that show can read it. Right. So, um, I had submitted it to one or two shows. Uh, neither one end up even getting um, picked up or aired. I never heard back. I didn't have an agent. It wasn't like that. I just wrote this script. Um, it was, and this is going back a lot of years. Um, the uh, Bart and Lisa went to a Christian summer camp for like a week. So it was like kind of like the Camp Krusty episode, but um, Ned Flanders talked Homer Marge into it because it was free and they had got rid of the kids for a week. <laughs> And then, and that was, it was heavy on that stuff. And then what, would, what did I have Homer and Marge doing? It was something like a, um, uh, books were involved. Like they joined a book club or something. Homer ended up being better at it, but it was just cause he was, um, um, watching the movies of the books and that, but everyone was like so impressed. And then Marge, it, and I got this from an English teacher who I had, um, Marge trapped him and I don't remember the book but like the movie did something different than the book so she asked him a question that was only in the movie not in the book that's how she caught him that he wasn't actually reading the books but um, I don't know if that would make for a very good episode I'm not surprised I never heard back from anyone but anyway yes I did kind of pursue that and that I did write a script and send it yeah one for sure maybe a second um, TV production again neither one got picked up I'm glad I'm a teacher and I'm sure the world is too. <laughs> I think I'm better at that. And the last thing, speaking of TV shows, I try to have a nice uh, run here. Um, the I Drink Beer guys did uh, some of their favorite TV shows and there was some overlap. So I'm like, hey, I'll do the same thing. Uh, talk about my overlaps with them and then what else I'm into or have been into. Uh, so our overlaps, uh, The Office, Arrested Development, Always Sunny uh, in Philadelphia, were definitely some of the bigger uh, ones. I could watch The Office and you know, I've probably watched every episode of The Office two dozen times um no nah, that, that can't be that many um i also really like um Saturday Night live uh the simpsons as i said uh, parks and rec lost when lost was on i was obsessed with that. I was one of the people who was totally obsessed with lost um lately i've been watching a lot of this is us with my wife jeopardy uh the goldbergs uh we, we watch a lot of food network especially chopped and um uh Danner's drive-ins and dives i could watch on loop for infinity um the office having watched this so much one time I went to an office themed trivia night uh, with a couple of buddies and um not only did we win but like it was embarrassing how much we dominated everyone else like it wasn't like cool how much we were winning by um we were like writing the names of the people who wrote the episodes that the questions came from so you know, if the answer was episode X, we would write, you know, written by blah, blah, blah. And um, 
yeah, like we won the money at the end, but we definitely lost at life uh, being that big of uh, nerds. <laughs> so anyway, five things maybe you probably didn't know about me. Uh, and then the, uh, now is time to tag some people. Guys at Bearded Hops, uh, maybe this could be a cool podcast, get to know you guys a little bit in a non-beer way, throw this into the, the mix. So the, the Bearded Hop guys, for sure. Uh, drinks with Jenny, someone I quite like watching. She's a little newer to doing stuff on YouTube. Uh, but I'm a big fan of hers. And then Han Yolo, uh, we've tagged each other and stuff in the past. It's been a minute, so Han Yolo. So the Bearded Hops people, uh, Drinks with Jenny and Han Yolo. No pressure to do it. It was fun to do. Kind of cool to think about stuff that was worth maybe saying on camera and letting the uh, people know a little bit more about me. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate it. Check me out on Instagram on tap. No high beer reviews at both those places. You always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, drink tea when you're sick. Picked up with the wrong hand. Cheers. <laughs>